Casey Johnson. I am absolutely beyond excited and honored and thrilled that you accepted my invitation to be a part of this people of the wedding industry. And you, ever since I met you a couple years ago at Engage, at the Engage Summit, mm -hmm. I was just completely inspired by who you are as as an individual. Like Aww. you're so positive and you just exude smiley energy and <laughs> you're passionate Thank about you. people. And you, you know, on top of those amazing qualities, you are, you know, a trendsetter and you have created this beautiful business from scratch and you've done it, you've done it all. And it's, it's so inspiring and I just, really am excited to to have you share a little bit about your story with the world wow what a <laughs> thank you <laughs> what a fabulous lovely introduction i'm beyond humbled and flattered and excited to be here so thank you well thank you for <laughs> for being a part of this um you are a female entrepreneur yep. which is mm -hmm. challenging in this day and age because you are a mother you are a a speaker, you consult business people, you mm -hmm. know, and help with small businesses, mm -hmm. um, and you create the most fabulous artwork with, you know, you paint, you, you do these amazing watercolors, and, and how do you find the balance to this? Like, <laughs> Um, I don't, I, I mean, truthfully, I, I don't really know. There's no like secret recipe that you just do it this exact way and then poof, it's all perfect. I think as a mother and an entrepreneur, a business owner and a designer and everything that I am, uh, you just, you just do it yeah. <laughs> and you just keep going and you somehow find the strength to pull yourself out of bed every day and, you know, get dressed and go for it. And I think uh, there's. I don't know. The balance is something that's a constant, I'm not going to lie, like it's a constant juggle, a struggle, and just a challenge just to to go through each day. Like it's extremely rewarding at the same time, but yes. it's also extremely challenging. Um, but I think the biggest thing is just having discipline and learning to let certain things go and know that it's okay. Yep. Because I think as, perf as for me, just in general, I'm a perfectionist. And uh, so with that becomes, you know, you tend to be a little harder on yourself and you need to just sign up, realize it's okay, you're doing a lot. And good is good enough sometimes and it's okay. And I think that's really, that's really it. Like, I think you just kind of have to like accept the fact that there's only 24 hours in one day <laughs> and you're just one person. Yes. And... Yeah, something can always give to the next day. It's going to be fine. <laughs> I think that also you find um, a lot of inspiration to get through the day when you talk to those clients that are so excited about a, a new idea or something, mm -hmm. you know, so you have um, maybe give me a little bit of an example of, of someone that called up and they had this really great um, story to tell. So I have to pause here because yes. I love that we're in New York, by the way. <laughs> I think that this is so cool. So let me also tell our audience that okay. we are actually at CC New York yeah. and <laughs> it's super cool that we are here. Um, and we're in New York and there are fire trucks and sirens. And, sirens. <laughs> and that is such a cool part of New Hunger York. Horns. Yes. And in this space, oh my goodness, I, I'm sorry I didn't start with this. Just walking into your workshop and your, you know, display space is absolutely amazing so okay thank you so fun <laughs> so yes there might be a little, some honking horns and some interruptions yes. here and there but it's authentic to it's new york authentic so. <laughs> so we really hear you guys <laughs> anyway um so let's say that you know someone someone calls up and they're you know they're they're sharing an idea with you and mm -hmm. and that's sort of an inspiration for you to to run with it and do you mm -hmm. have an example of a story maybe that someone called up and you're like you know what this is amazing because i was just thinking about something like mm -hmm. this or you know yeah i mean i i think definitely i find inspiration from all my clients and and i find inspiration just from the world around me and just being a creative especially in new york city like it is my heartbeat like i love the energy and just it's just walking down the street i find there's like so much to be inspired by but yeah i mean even just today i was talking to a couple in the middle east and from kuwait and they were getting married they are getting married in um, positano in italy and there's just so much inspiration there and i don't i just i think just by talking to them and getting to know them and hearing what excites them excites me and finding those like 
common grounds that then you can, for me, I can run with and create beautiful artwork for them and help tell them sto their, their story um, and their invitation design. And I don't know, I mean, to me, that was it's just, it's just exciting, you know, and the, they get married in these most beautiful places around the world, and that's inspiring to me. So I love, like, just finding that, those details and turning them into art. How do you, for someone like that, that's coming from far away, how do you, and I know you do this excellently, okay. um, you take their story, and you may not get to meet with them in person, mm -hmm. but you really have a way of creating magic even though you don't get to meet with them. And, yeah. and so talk to me a little bit about that. Well, luckily, I think, you know, now today with, with technology and just with being able to FedEx and Skype or FaceTime or anything, really, there's so much that we can do to communicate as if we're sitting here together in the same room. And we're just, as I said, we're perfectionists. Like, we, we take our clients through every single detail. And, you know, it starts with a consultation. I'm talking with them on the phone if they can't come in in person, which is completely fine. And we get to know each other. And then I throw out ideas and inspiration and thoughts of what I want to do, color palettes and go back to our you know, creative drawing boards, if you will, and come up with ideas. And then we send them these beautiful presentations that are in PDF form, so it's simple. You know, it's very email, email friendly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, um, and then they, you know, they open it, and we have a conversation. So I'm walking them through it. I'm not leaving them on their own. You know, I think it's really important to hold their hand and, and help every step of the way to guide them through this really, like you said, magical creative process. Because it can be extremely overwhelming, and also it's not something that, that they do every single day. So mm -hmm. I don't want them to feel like they're on their own making decisions by themselves like for me it's really about working with an expert and a designer who's passionate about about creating something for you and helping you every step of the way so you get this amazing presentation with as many different ideas that we can come up with like I really pride ourselves on being creative curious designers who love to try a lot of different things and 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 so there could be you know three different possible uh, presentations of ideas or more, I mean, depends on what we come up with, right? Yes, and yes. then from there, you they can pick and they can take their favorites and talk to me about what they're loving from each, or maybe it's just one idea that's perfect and that's the one they want to go with. But it's really a creative, collaborative process. So, I don't know, it just it works out quite well. And we don't really want to leave any detail unturned. So we're sure. always like making sure. And so yeah, it doesn't matter the distance. We work with clients all over the world and it's if we're together like this. I love <laughs> that. And that is, that's crucial in what we do, you know? Yeah. And, and I mean, just things like you start with a drawing. I mean, you have some fun things here and you just start yeah. with like, Exactly. So there'd be the sketches of the, these are monograms that we were trying for them. And, you know, we present them to you. We sent, send uh, paper sample packages so you get to touch and feel and, and just really there's so there's no detail left un, unturned. And I don't know, I so it's, it's so a really neat. fun, creative process. A very fun, <laughs> creative process. Yeah. Um, you are, you are the daughter of an entrepreneurial businessman. Yes. <laughs> and I think that that is, that's fascinating to me because there's two different field, you know, worlds of thought. Like you could come from someone that was not, um, you know, did not have a background in, in, in business and then just kind of go out and create it on your own. But you got to see mm -hmm. hands on, you know, what it was like to, to be a, a business owner. And right. when did, when did the light bulb sort of go on in your head when you were like, you know what, I can do this and I can, hmm. I can be my, well, I don't, I, I don't think there was like a, a light bulb moment of like, I'm going to be an entrepreneur. Okay. I honestly think I was maybe born born an entrepreneur. It sounds that. funny, but uh, I was definitely that kid that went like door to door and knocked on everyone's door and was like, hi, I'm selling this. Like, do you want to buy this? Because I needed to earn my next Barbie doll or whatever it yes. was that I wanted to earn. Um, my parents taught me really, really early on, like, if you want something bad enough, like, you've got to figure out how to earn it and go wow. get it yourself. So I was picking up as many leaves as I could to earn you know, my $10 to ride my bike to the toy store. And I don't know, I just, so I think I just had that spirit in me. But definitely growing up next to my dad had a home office right next to my bedroom. So he always would tease me that I'm learning through osmosis. So oh. it's like, you know, his advice would come through the walls. <laughs> maybe, maybe I did, maybe I didn't. I don't know. But I truthfully, I mean, he's in heaven now. And mm -hmm. I know he looks down on me every day. And, and I take so much of his advice and what he's given to me. And I swear, like, I owe, I owe that, like, 
mentality and that drive and that sort of like persistence, I guess, to him because I watched him growing up never giving up and constantly always getting up no matter if it was the crack of dawn or working till late at night. Like he was always doing it for us and providing for us and teaching us the ways and leading by example and that's what I strive to do. And you will do with your beautiful children. Your, <laughs> your children are absolutely amazing. Thank and so you. Fun and gorgeous. So I'm excited to see. I'm excited to see the things that they um, that they do. Yeah. You know, with same. Same I mean, advice. We hope we hope for the best, right? As parents, so I'm gonna try. <laughs> um, tell me about when you first moved to New York. Mm -hmm. So. Um, you know, being from California and then you decided to come here and worked with a graphic design company. So kind of mm -hmm. take me back to when, um, when you started. Yeah. So I was the crazy one and went to school in uh, Cal Poly San Luis Obispo in California. I'm from originally from California, from San Diego. And I just was the one of the only ones I felt like in my graduating class that wanted to move to New York and everyone thought I was crazy. Like, why oh. would you leave paradise? You're insane. But I just, did I just wanted to and so I was just constantly drawn there and I ended up getting hired they moved me cross country by this amazing consulting firm and I was doing web design which was great and I loved it but I had originally gotten my or my passion really lied in paper and doing design that was more tactile you know print or print work basically and I don't know I just went to the one of my coworkers who was engaged and offered just because you know that's who I am and just one of those busy kindred spirits that love to do stuff at all times yes. <laughs> and and um, yeah, and I just offered her my services and she loved it and essentially that was how it started and I was doing it on the side. Um, friends of friends of friends were passing my name around and this was about over 12 years ago so it was the time when you know no one really had a website and it was sort of like the dot-com era was really booming and wedding business and the industry in general was taking off and it was sort of becoming something where it never really was you know sure. and especially in the world of invitation design if you think about it that yeah. way it was really just um, what was out there was going and flipping through big dusty old books yes. of options that, that at the time people were calling custom and my designer mind was like that's not custom oh. like you yes. know that yes. didn't to me that was not the definition of custom sure. custom meant my, from my imagination like what are the unlimited possibilities and the amazingness that I could create for you mm -hmm. so I don't know, I just found that there was really a niche that I could offer and do my, you know, offer my unique design services to these brides and grooms and, and take them through this amazing, like, couture experience that they weren't getting. And it was really amazing. Yeah. <laughs> so cool. And you get to know them because you love the people. Like, yeah. that's so cool. I think exactly. that that's something that you, you know, no one can take away or, or mimic is, is the passion that you have for people. And exactly. I think that's such a beautiful thing. Yeah, that's and so fun. getting to know them and having them tell me their story and then me, it sparks something in me and that, that inspiration point is there all of a sudden by having a conversation. And it's just so fun to get to know everyone and then be able to make them feel amazing through my art and talent, I guess. So. It's the first impression that people have <laughs> of their wedding day. Yep. Like it's the first thing that they get to see and it's like, or, or their event or mm -hmm. whatever. Mm -hmm. you know? Exactly, exactly. So I, yeah, I'm really proud of, of that. I guess unique service and and now here we are today and I'm still doing it and loving it and with a beautiful staff of people and everyone mm -hmm. helping and putting together feathers this is gonna be really cool <laughs> All right, we're doing a very cool masquerade party so um, but yeah there's really no creative limits and I love that we have an amazing creative team and we just we just really there's there's no limits to what we can do and that's the passion and that's what gets us out of bed every day to come and create for our clientele that's so fun um, is there someone, is there someone in particular when you began, when you began CC New York, is mm -hmm. there someone in particular or a couple people or any story that you can think of of people hmm. that really helped you and inspired you? Uh huh. And I think that you're such an inspiration now to other people starting their own oh, business, thanks. you know? And so who was that person for you? Um, well, I, I mean, I guess, I, what comes what honestly just comes to my mind is yes. my boyfriend who's now my husband at the time I um, and I'm not like saying this like you know I, whatever it's just truth it's the truth yeah. I didn't I I remember it's a funny story I was like you know a designer and ultimately that's the heart of, that's who I am as a creative individual I never really as much as I was 
had an entrepreneurial spirit. I didn't really know business. Okay. And he watched me kind of like working around the clock and designing for my clients. And, and I was happy, but I was very busy and I wasn't like, I had no grasp of what I was doing, right? In the sense, he was like, so I see you're really busy, but do you know, are you making any money? Like, you know, what are you doing? Would you have a sales plan? I was like, what's that? What do you mean? Like, everybody's happy and my clients you know, are doing great and I love my designs. What more do you need? Yes. So I think that was a pivotal moment for me and I do owe him like a lot of credit because he had that knowledge and was able to sit me down as a creative and sit in front of an Excel document, which I didn't even know Excel, and be like, okay, here's how you do a sales plan and this is what is like going to help you understand the crux of like, you know, the, basically the financial side of your business and what that means. Um, so he was a big mentor in that sense um, because he gave me that guidance and now to this day, I mean, we live and breathe by it because it's like completely how the whole company operates. So, um, so yeah, I definitely owe a lot to him, but um, yeah, I mean, there's tons of different people in all sorts of different industries that are inspirations. Um, I wish I, I wish I could say I had like one specific person other than, <laughs> other than my boyfriend, but or now husband. But um, yeah, no, but and yeah. that's just interesting. I think that a, a huge part of what we do, and especially you being here in sort of the the mecca of the wedding industry world, I feel mm -hmm. like New York is right now. There, you know, there's fashion wedding week and there's you know all these different things that you yeah. can be a part of being right here so I think that the networking piece is kind of a neat thing you mm -hmm. know that you get to network and you get to do I saw on your Instagram that you went to go see like the lace um yeah. lace dresses and you yeah. know and that was inspiration to you and yeah you know, that's right yeah I mean I think when you when you're just sort of stuck in your own bubble and you're not necessarily getting out and meeting people and especially if you're talking a small business in the wedding industry I mean you have to be able to get out there and say hi and introduce yourself yes. and it is about what you know and who you know and connecting with those people and leveraging that and seeing just seeing what opportunities are out there um, whether it's connecting at a, a cocktail event or going to a, like for me I went to the uh, Mark Ingram as a dress designer and just you know looked at his beautiful dresses oh. and anyway you just everywhere you just gotta you gotta really get out there and yeah on the pavement <laughs> yes I think that that's such great advice to someone that you know is is admiring where you are and, and where they could be in their own business <laughs>